The latest version of Automatic 11.11's Stable Diffusion Web UI introduces a new feature called In-Painting Conditional Mask Strength. I'm really excited about this new feature, so I wanted to demonstrate what it is and how it can be used. So the simplest way to think about it is it changes what happens when you increase the denoising strength. Normally at a high denoising strength, the original composition and details are completely wiped out. So at a strength of one, you're essentially just replacing the whole image, and it's really not much different to running text to image. But by reducing the conditional mask strength, we can heavily apply a new artistic style while retaining all of the detail and composition of the original image. So to get started, you'll need to install Runway ML's Stable Diffusion InPainting model. I've added a link in the description. So just download the CKPT file and upload it to the models folder in your web UI. After that, just make sure you have the correct model selected. So let's try it out. Let's just grab an image and then update the prompt. In this case, I'm just going to add Art by Van Gogh. Now, if we run this normally, you'll see that essentially what happens is that it's at a high strength, it's just going to replace the image with something that looks like a painting by Van Gogh. It might have some of the elements of the original, but at a high strength, it's essentially going to change the image quite drastically. But if we go in and reduce the conditional mask strength in the settings, you can see that even at a high strength, it retains a lot of the composition of the original, but it still allows us to increase the amount that it's applying the artist's style. I think this could be really useful as a finishing pass on pieces. Imagine if you've got the composition down the way you like it, but you're not really that happy with the kind of artistic style that's being applied. So in this example, I'm just doing a similar thing, but with Makoto Shinkai as the artist name. And you can see it's picked up the artist style, but without changing many of the elements. Now, when we go back to increase the mask strength again, you'll see what happens at a highest denoising strength. As you can see, it essentially just changes the image quite drastically, and we kind of lose the original concept. Here is another example, this time using a landscape. So here I've used Frank Frazetta as the artist. Now when I go and increase the mask strength again, you'll see what happens. We end up losing a lot of the original composition of the image, and a lot of the details essentially gets wiped out. Well that's it, hopefully you enjoyed this quick demonstration of a new feature that I think I'll be using a lot in the future.